What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. You guys liked my Halloween AI video so much. Today we're doing it again, but this time Thanksgiving. If you want to see how I use AI to create and 3D print this, make sure you keep watching. Let's get right into it. All right, let's get started. We are going to open a new file and today we are going to be trying out Adobe's new text to vector AI capabilities. Okay, so we're gonna be using text to vector graphic. I am doing, this is my Thanksgiving version of my AI video series. So we are gonna be looking for a turkey and then I'm gonna be adding the letters for happy Thanksgiving and we're gonna be hanging it downstairs in the print shop. So we want a subject. We'll just see, this is my first time using this. So. I'm gonna ask for a cartoon style turkey from the side view. All right, we'll leave it at this. We'll just generate and we will see what happens. Okay, so this is the first one that it came up with. I don't like it. These are the other options that it came up with. Let's, these aren't terrible. I'm gonna try that again. I wanted to use mostly brown, tan, and red for the colors. I wasn't super happy with the color patterns on these. They're a little too funky, even though I'm gonna change the colors anyways. All right, so this is what it came up with this time. Also this one, and this is an option. All right, so these aren't terrible. I'm gonna change it up to minimal details and make it super simple. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Okay, so this one isn't horrible. Let's see what this one is. Also not bad. I'm gonna use this one. I'm also gonna try this in mid-journey while this is thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna try this prompt and see what it gives me. A cartoon vector style graphic of a cute Thanksgiving turkey. From the, and I added some brackets. I want the side view, a forward facing view, and I wanna see what it looks like if it's running. I want it to be a simple drawing with minimal details, brown, tan, and red color scheme, on a white background, no highlights or gradients. We'll see if this works. Oh goodness, none of these are what I want either. I think this one over here is gonna do better. We'll just go with this one. Now we need to separate it into colors or simplify it a little bit because I don't have this many colors of brown and I'm only gonna use one color for the feathers here. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna try to do a little voice over here, switching things up a little bit. So once I decided on the turkey that I wanted to use, I first needed to simplify the colors in the design. I'm only able to print eight colors and this design has quite a bit more than that. So we need to take out some of the shadows and highlights. My tool of choice for something like this is the Shape Builder tool. You basically just highlight the parts you want to work with, and then it lets you combine things into one simple shape. Starting with the fan of feathers, I combined the outside edge and made them one solid brown color. Then I went to the black part, combined that really easily, and then worked my way in hitting the orange rectangle pieces also part of the feathers. Once these were all simplified, I used the eyedropper tool to pick a color that was already in the design so I could make sure I'm limiting myself to eight colors. In between the orange rectangles, there were some small separator pieces. I combined those with some of the other parts of the design that would eventually just become part of the background. Next, I moved on to the feet combining everything so that the only colors I had to deal with were brown, yellow, and then another mustard color of yellow. Next, I moved on to the head. Okay, I think I actually will keep like this shadow here on the head because I have a weird color of pink that I can use and I think that's gonna look pretty cool. I was pretty excited about this part because I have a cool coral color of filament that I haven't gotten to use very much and it was gonna look really good here. The neck had a lot going on. It had highlights, shadows, a beak, and an eye. My design here had to be pretty thoughtful since this was gonna be where a lot of the stacking happened when it came time to print. I got it looking pretty nice and then moved on to the feathers on the body. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now I need to handle this. I cleaned that up a bit, but eventually I'm gonna have to take this part out because I wanna add letters to my design. So I won't show much of this I'll just speed it up really quick. Okay. I think this looks pretty good. Now I gotta figure out, wait, where'd this foot go? I spent a little more time on the feet and then I was ready to separate for printing. 
and add the letters. I'm just going to have to do the feet all one color of yellow, actually, because I don't have a mustard color like this. I'm not sure. We'll see how, what I'm able to do. Okay, so this is our final product for now. So now we need to separate it into layers. The first thing I'm going to do is bring it over here, and I'm just going to make it one solid shape. Now we have the background that we can use and I'm going to offset the path by three pixels, that'll do. So this, I'm now gonna make this brown color. Let's work on the head because I think that's gonna be the next easiest part. First, I separated the neck from the rest of the body so I could see what I was working with. I needed the neck to be all one shape, so I used a rectangle to combine it all together. Then I moved it over to the rest of the turkey changed the color to maroon, and then moved on to the coral highlights. I combined a few of the pieces and then selected them all, moved them over to be stacked on top of the maroon part, and then I got the beak, the eye, and a little highlight piece, moved those over, and I was ready to move on to the body. I end up deleting all of this out in the end to make room for the letters, but it's still worth showing so you can see the whole process come together. This part was pretty easy since there wasn't much stacking. I basically just brought each piece over and made sure it all lined up the way it was before. The final step was to bring the feet over and then I was ready to move on to the letters. This thing is deconstructed now. Um, so now we need to export all the pieces, get it into Tinkercad, and then make sure it's ready to go to 3D actually. Before we do that, my plan was to make this say Happy Thanksgiving, so I need to write the letters out to make this say Happy Thanksgiving. Let's go to here, say Happy Thanksgiving. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. We can go see if there's a cool font to use. Thanksgiving fonts. I want it to be free. This one's kind of cool. You have to pay to sell it, but I'm not selling this. This is all for me. You can type here. Happy Thanksgiving. This one's actually not bad. I don't like the G's. This actually looks pretty cool. We'll do that. Called Rum Raisin. So I'll come back over here, find Rum Raisin. All right, we've got our font. So now create outlines. And now they are individual letters. And sadly, I'm gonna have to export each of these as letters all by themselves, but, and I'll probably make this this color, or this color, or this color. It doesn't really pop. I wonder if I take out some of the details. Okay, very plain turkey. All right, that might be the move right there. I wish I had, like, some more detail in here. Let me see if I can use the pen tool. And to make the body look a little less plain, I used the curvature tool to draw in some textures. I made it tan to match the base layer and added some curves to make it look a little like feathers. I used the roughen effect on the tan part because it looked a little too clean. I moved the sliders around until I found something I liked, then I thought it looked pretty good. I tried to do the same thing to the curves for the feathers, but that didn't turn out so great. I also didn't like the way the feathers on the front weren't consistent with the ones on the back, so I just deleted them all. I redrew them and then changed the stroke profile to make them all look wavy and sort of rough like the tan part. I finally liked the way the turkey looked, so it was time to start exporting all of the parts. Copy that now. Wow, that took a lot of time. Next, I need to export everything. I'll have to export each of the letters individually. I'm going to get the turkey exported first to start with. Next is the dark brown. Let me open up. Tinkercad, import turkey back, um, and this needs to be no bigger than 240, 50% would be about 210, so let's go 60%, 55%, okay, we'll do them all at 55%, so I'm going to import all of these now, we're going to hang, oh wait, I'm going to make them all letters, so we don't want them to be this big, but I'll import them all, get them fixed, and then shrink them down to the correct size later but the back neck needs to be four. And that is actually an okay color. Next is turkey two. We'll make that 0.6, bring it up four. Next, I go back over here. We need the whole red piece. Okay, let's go get the neck in place, import. A 
Okay, once I get the feet in, I'm done. Wait, I gotta get the beat. Ah. Okay, the turkey's done. Now I need to import all of the letters, but I'll get one letter in here, get it sized correctly, and then export everything into Bamboo Lab and slice everything and get it ready to go. But the turkey is done, and let's put the turkey on the plate. I'm gonna need a lot of different colors of brown, but we will tackle that when we get there. Next, we want the brown. The turkey has been imported. How many colors is this? Oh, it's only eight. Beautiful, that's exactly what we need. Once I had the turkey ready to go in the slicer, I scaled it down so I could fit three on a plate. I tried a few different sizes, but the only one that really made sense time-wise was three. After I had a size I liked, I imported the letters, got them in place, and sliced the plate. Four hours for three of them, 18 color changes, this is what I'm gonna go with. All right, time for me to get the filament loaded into the printers, start these printing. I probably won't show you any more of the computer work because it's all gonna look exactly like it has so far. I will catch up with you guys as soon as this is done printing. All right, the last set of prints are done. Let's get them off the build plate, get them upstairs and start stringing them up. All right, you guys, all that's left to do is hang these turkeys on the wall. I got a hammer, I got some nails. Let's wrap up this video and get right to it. So I wanna try and get this as level as possible, especially since I'm gonna be putting nails in the wall, that's kind of permanent. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some tape on the wall and string some yarn across. Try to make sure that that yarn is level and then put the nails in the wall to hang up the turkeys. So I decided I'm just gonna put masking tape on the back of these turkeys and put them on the wall. They're kind of strung together already so they'll hopefully hold each other up a little bit. Putting a nail in the wall seems a little bit too permanent and also it's a little bit loud with the baby sleeping. So we're gonna use tape. It's not exactly what I wanted for this project but since this is temporary anyways, it'll have to do. All right, happy's up. Now we gotta get Thanksgiving on the wall. I think that one's gonna be a little bit more challenging because it has so many letters, but we're gonna give it our best shot. All right, so I got all of the letters at least hung on the wall. Now I need to adjust the word Thanksgiving to make it look a little better because right now it looks terrible. The turkeys look cool, but it's just not up there correctly. So I'm gonna keep working with it and then I'll show you the final result in just a second. All right, I think this is as good as we're gonna get. It's sort of centered. I mean, this side over here maybe could use some more adjusting, but I've peeled the tape off the wall so many times or I'm good with how it looks. So I never really even showed you guys a close up of what the turkeys looked like. They came out pretty awesome. The letters had looked a little odd, but for my first eight color print, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. All right, you guys, I've got all of my turkeys on the wall. We can now officially celebrate Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything else you'd like to see me print, let me know in the comments. I've got a cool video coming for Christmas, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. That's all for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.